There's a common misconception that the louder one shouts, the better the other person is going to hear you. That the other person in the argument will suddenly go, oh, that's what you meant. Of course you were right. We all know that is not what usually happens. More often than not, the harder the approach, the bigger the opposition. Which reminds me of the story of the wind and the sun who had an argument about which of them was the strongest. And so finally the wind said, listen, I will prove to you that I am more powerful than you. See that man down there? Let's see who can get his coat off him first. That one is clearly the strongest. And the sun just smiled and said, okay, you can go first. And so the wind huffed and he puffed and he howled with full force. But the harder he tried, the more the man pulled his coat closer to him to shield himself from the cold. And eventually the wind saw that his approach wasn't working and he died down, exhausted from his efforts. And then the sun began to shine, gently but persistently until the man began to unbutton his jacket one button at a time. Before long, he didn't only take off his coat, he also rolled up his sleeves. And the wind had to admit that he was beaten. Friends, when we're trying to force other people to see things our way, or when we come over very strongly and opinionated, it can be seen as powerful. Yet, there is often so much more power in having a gentle approach, in being kind and loving towards others. That is often what will soften people's hearts and consequently they will listen a lot better to what we have to say. There's an ancient proverb that says, a gentle answer deflects anger, but harsh words make tempers flare. So friends, rather than blowing with full force like a gale force wind today, maybe try the sun approach instead and let your love and kindness penetrate the hearts of those around you.